I'm YoYo Swimmer 2 and today I'm going to teach you how to solve a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. Now first you have to learn the notations. Pretty simple. This is the front face, F, the right side, R, the upper side, U, and the left side, L, and the down side, D. So if I say F, turn the front side clockwise. So F F inverted means turn the front side counterclockwise. If I say R, turn the right side clockwise. R inverted, counterclockwise, and etc. Now, for beginner students, I like to start on the blue side. So, first you have to find something that's on the bottom of the cube. So let's say blue and orange. You, know, you want to move this to the orange side and then do this to F. And here's the piece. And go to the bottom. Oh, blue and white. Flip it to the blue and white. And then do to F. So we're halfway done. Go to the bottom, red and blue. Go to the red and blue. Do two F. Now here's your first algorithm. These two are flipped. So to do this algorithm, you have to do this F inverted, U left inverted. You inverted, and now get you that. And find another piece, blue and yellow, and move it to the blue and yellow. The next step is to get this corner piece. So find a corner piece at the bottom, blue, white, and orange, and move it to the corresponding pieces, blue, white, and orange. And do this algorithm. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And do this as many times until this will go to the top, to its normal position. If this one like this, and it's the same place, then leave it at the top right corner and do this algorithm. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Do it as many times when it reaches its normal position. Like that. And now last one, same thing, the top right, right inverted, down inverted, right down. Now you have, you solved the first side, and if you did it right, you solved the first layer of the Rubik's Cube. Now you want to turn the Rubik's Cube and the opposite side. You want to look for a piece that doesn't have a green piece. So orange and white. You put this orange to the orange right here. Now there's two algorithms. One that goes to the left and one that goes to the right. So this goes to the left. So here's the algorithm. U inverted. L inverted. U L U F U inverted F inverted and that gets you right there so here's another piece red and white this goes to the right and here's the new algorithm U R U inverted R inverted U inverted F inverted U F and that gets you this piece. Find another piece blue and yellow. Line it up. This goes to the right. And there you have it. One more piece. Now you have accomplished the second layer of the Rubik's Cube. 
Now, here's the sword layer. You should have a dot, an L facing to the left, a line, or a cross. The goal here is to get the cross. So if you have a dot, you can face the cube any side in order, but you have to put this green side up. So here's the front face. If you have an L facing this way, then do this algorithm. F R U U R inverted U inverted F inverted and that will get you this line so this line should be horizontal not vertical so do this algorithm the same thing and that should get you this cross now you want to find a edge piece that has this matching to the corresponding color. If not, keep turning the cube and keep looking. Ooh, green and white. Nope. Green, yellow, and green, orange. So you want to face one correct piece to the back and one correct piece to your right hand and do this algorithm. R, U, R inverted, U, R, to U, R inverted, and then match it. If there's a piece right here, a correct piece, an edge piece, and a correct piece in the back, the opposite, then have one facing toward you and one facing back, and do the same algorithm, and then you should have the same one like here, and then switch these. Now, we gotta try to line up these edge pieces. So find one piece, so it doesn't have to really be switched the right way, but in the correct way. So find one here. If you don't have any, then do the same thing any side of the cube, but this has to be on the top, the green side. So, and then do this algorithm with this to the right. U, R, U inverted, left inverted, U, right inverted, U inverted, left. And then you should keep doing it when you get to the point where the edges are lined up. And the final part is to do this algorithm, like I taught you. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Keep doing that, right inverted, down inverted, right down. So when you finish with that piece until you get that, only switch the top layers to the next piece. If this piece already solved, switch it again. So this should be at the top right corner, and then do it again. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. And then you move the top layer. And that should complete your 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Thank you for watching this video. And have fun on your solving your Rubik's Cube.